everybody. I just got out here to the park in my local town. I'm going to walk the outside loop, which is going to be 1.1 miles. Uh, it's currently almost 2 o'clock, I think. So uh, I'll be lifting again, like I said earlier. I'm not sure if I included it earlier, but I'll be lifting about 4.30, 5 o'clock. So uh, this, I don't necessarily want to do the walks right before lifting. You're on a walk. Then I'll have my another meal about 3.30 or so. And then I'll go lift about an hour later. And since it's really hot, I'll be, you know, adding in a little bit extra. Uh, I'm not eating anything that necessarily my pink Himalayan sea salt would go on. But I'm just going to, you know, lick my finger, stick it down in there. And maybe get a couple uh, dabs of uh, salt just to replenish any uh, sodium I'm sweating out. Um, I think that's one reason... You know, last time I lifted, I went and walked right before. I did go right back home and eat, but I feel like I was sweating so much. I feel like that made me lose um, some pump in the gym because I didn't have, you know, as much as those electrolytes in me. I had plenty of potassium, but the sodium wasn't there because um, the foods I was eating really didn't have sodium in them. Oh, my goodness. Look how badass and green that lizard is. Dude, that was the most neon green, like, tennis ball-looking lizard I've ever seen. That was awesome. Anyway, I got the GoPro on gonna take y'all with me around this 1.1 mile loop it'll take me about 20-25 minutes or so I'm not in here damn power walking I'm just walking you know what I'm saying no like pace I'm trying to hold I'm just straight walking beautiful and green out here you know mainly coming to walk just to move my body and uh, so like a body break and an eye break because I've been working on the computer you know ever since I started eating basically and got back back from the post office but uh, so body break and it doubles up as I count it as cardio but normally when I say I'm going to do cardio it's like it really I'm going to burn calories is what I look at it as like I'm just using this again like for health and then it's just extra calories I'm burning which is you know obviously when I'm keeping up I want to keep up that uh, a good bit of walking at least walk basically like 25 minutes a day which is essentially this 1.1 miles and that's like the bare minimum like regardless of what happens even if it's been at night the past couple of days i've just been going out at night and walking around the block like down some neighborhoods for uh, like 25 minutes or so just to uh still at least get this in but uh if everything's like 100 percent ideal i'll pretty much come i'll come to the park twice in a day now this is if i'm just doing strictly like a lot of sitting computer work in a day but i'd come to the park twice so it's 2.2 miles and then i'd walk five to ten minutes at night after my last meal so you're looking at you know 25 50 almost an hour's worth of walking in a day and that sounds like a lot but it's also it's it is and it's not because on those days that I was doing that, really, like I said, it's mainly like an eye break and a body break. And it just kind of something to burn calories too, because those days I'm sitting a lot, so I need to get up and get active. But then, you know, a lot of those other days this week, especially this week, I've just been, you know, doing a lot of work on the trailer, my mobile home. I mean, we're literally building this shit like a house. So it's not literally like just a regular mobile home, like the, the thickness of the beams and the walls and the, like the sheet rock we use for the walls and the mold and like everything's what you would actually see in a house. So it's basically like a house. It's a mobile, little, a legit actual house, but on wheels, like a legit mobile home. Not like a regular mobile home. It's like an actual legit mobile home, like a legit house just inside of a shell, pretty much. Um. So I've been burning, you know, that's been majority of my calories burn cardio wise, like activity wise. Like I said, I still go walk at night for, you know, like between my last two meals, I'll get that like one mile in, 1.1 miles in. But probably be next week, like I said, today's Saturday. So if I lift Saturday, I may go Monday to kickboxing class. Muay Thai kickboxing class. So that's where I uh, 
see I still use that for calorie burning but it's also skill work it's also fun and I also use it for actual my cardiovascular health as well to actually improve that because that is actually very important and that's one thing I believe has actually helped my recovery a lot is or at least some I would think a good bit is having my cardiovascular system better not only does it help me recover faster between sets but in between you know workout sessions I'm recovering faster just because my body's better at you know basically transporting oxygen and nutrients and blood to the parts of my body that need it so and then you know my actual heart muscle is actually getting exercise really good on those days so like that's becoming more efficient but these are cardio days too it's just super super low intensity like when I'm like right now if I really stop and check my heart rate it's a, it's, it's a little bit elevated than what it would generally be just you know resting sitting especially by the end of it it's elevated it's somewhat it's nothing crazy high but you know it is elevated for sure a decent amount I forget the number off the top of my head <laughs> and uh you know this still improves my you know quote unquote fitness for sure but nothing like a kickboxing class or a surfing or uh, something like that and yesterday I went to the gym I popped the video up of Something went and splashed in the water. But I went to the gym yesterday, did my second ankle and hip day. I'm working on my knee baggers. I popped that video up. So I'm talking about the first video. I kind of started talking about it. I'm going to start correcting that. So what I did, just to burn some extra calories, I live like a quarter mile from the gym. I just rode, you know, rode a bike from the house to the gym and then back after the workout. So wasn't much that did get my heart rate up a little bit a little bit extra calories burning it was a little bit of a leg uh warm up as well for the for the workout so you know pros all the way around uh mainly i don't want to be doing too much high intensity and the reason for that is i want to maintain muscle mass and and what i mean by that is because doing too much now walking's fine i can walk every day ton still lift fine now when you start doing higher intensity stuff it actually impedes recovery you know what I'm saying because you actually get sore from it because it's so intense now the more you do it though the better you do get at it. like i've been able to recover from the kickboxing class in like two days so i mean if i go monday i'm good to lift on wednesday pretty much so um that's why I've been able, you know, I'll still implement those every few weeks. And then now that I'm surfing, I'll implement those every few weeks. But I'm, it's always going to be implemented to fit in around my lifting program. That way I can lift on day one because I've been lifting every fifth day. Just increase my volume on each day. But uh, lift on day one. Normally take a day off. Go, you know, hit that high intensity cardio on day three. Day four passes, day five passes, I'm recovered. I'm right on track for my lifting. And basically the most that's ever pushed me back is one extra day, which isn't too much, you see what I'm saying? But it does push volume back. And that's why I do space it out because you don't want to constantly be, because if I just consistently doing that, then I'm consistently lifting less. I want to keep my volume up, my frequency up as much as possible. Got some people coming. Check out this turtle. I don't know if y'all can see it. Sunbathing. Got a lot of them right here. When this went in the water. I should probably see it because it's not zoomed in much at all. Hey, how y'all doing? But a bunch of beautiful scenes out here. There's some wood ducks out here. Some running water, it's just super, super peaceful. Super, super, got some spider action. Super, super peaceful out here. But yeah, the main thing is, is sticking to my lifting program. 
and uh, not uh, doing things that are going to keep me off of that much, which I have been and I'm going to continue to do. You know, so you can still kind of you have your cake and eat it too, but you just got to, you don't want to be doing, you know what I'm saying, too much cardio where it's like, I said if I went and biked too much, well that would make my legs sore and then I wouldn't be able to lift my leg. I had to wait for those to recover to lift my legs. Same thing like the kickboxing class. It really gets my uh, forearms and like mainly my lats. My lats get the most sore out of anything in that class. So that's uh. Now here's the thing. Another benefit too that I'm still building some muscle for those classes. I'd say because it is um higher intensity, more explosive type work. So. There's that. I'm still probably building some, but nothing like I would if I would just went and lifted. But it's pretty much that. But like I said, that's the good thing about this cardio. It's super healthy for you. Low impact on the joints. And it, you know, I can do this multiple times a day, every day, pretty much throughout the week. And, uh, to my training program at all and it, it actually increases your recovery because it's so low intensity and it raises your heart rate just a little bit gets the blood pump a little bit better you know gets your body flushing out the toxins better carries the nutrients to your body better so actually boosts your recovery doing like walking anything super light intensity like this and this is my main cardio is walking it's what i do the most of but overall it's health so I've been noticing that because my bulk it's health for me health and aesthetics health and bodybuilding bodybuilding is second health is first it's got to be first because if you make health your foundation you can build anything off of it and it'll last if you don't make health your foundation whatever you build won't last it'll crumble because of injuries you won't be able to sustain it for the long term which is where actual true great gains are going to come from a great physique is going to come from great strength is going to come from a great skill whatever you're trying to really develop it's going to come from you know week in week out for years developing it um like i said the health that's one thing i've i do like implementing the kickboxing classes and the high intensity stuff as well just for the fact that it's just it's just so good for your health to, to have some actual cardio like a really good cardio hit now this is great for my health as well i said this actually gets my heart rate up and i can tell it somewhat but i mean i'm not walking slow by any means but nothing like an actual pure like a more high intensity type deal where you can really you know you're breathing hard as crap you can really tell you're getting out of breath there's a hill coming up up here i used to run i mean it's been years I used to run it, me and my buddy Clay, and uh, I think yeah, Dylan's come with us before too, his cousin, but me and my buddy Clay's come out here and run, actually some pictures of him in my first transformation video, or videos of him, like lifting with me, but we used to come up here, and that's something I'll probably eventually come back and implement as well, at some point in time, and, and that's one thing I've kind of will start implementing and have in the past as well at some point in time it's just it's basically high intensity cardio but insanely small spurts of it like for example i used to start right here run up this hill to the top and come back down i forget how many times we do it 10 20 whatever like that'd be one session like one go like just right now if i did that bam go do it just 10 times Okay, that may take me 30 seconds, and then that's it. You see what I'm saying? So it's just a little tiny hit. Uh, it's still high intensity, great for actual cardiovascular little exercise, but it's like not so much where it's really going to hinder me uh, much, if at all, or too much, you know, for recovery-wise. But if I sat there and did that five rounds of that or ten rounds of that, I'm definitely going to be sore the next day or, you know what I'm saying, have to... Take an extra day off. One of my favorite flowers in the world. The smell of it's beautiful and it looks amazing. They're dying. They were blooming like crazy a few weeks ago. Surprised they're actually dying that fast. Gardenias. Be absolutely beautiful day out here in the park. 
in South Carolina. That's another thing on this cut. I've kind of been opting to do a little more cardio or be a little more active instead of cutting my calories just to try to really maximize fat loss at a certain calories. You know what I'm saying? Calorie number to make sure I'm, I can basically eat the most and still be dropping fat. It's another gardenia. Freaking love them, man. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It smells so good. But, you know, I've been cutting slower. I mean, a pound is, I mean, half a pound to a pound and a half is a great rate. Really, really is a good rate. Just I have so much to lose. And some weeks I haven't been doing that. But if I, you know, you consistently lose that, yeah, it seems really slow. Yeah, you want to be faster, but. You know, I'm experimenting. I've done a lot faster in the past. You know, I basically lost all the weight I've lost now in the past in eight months. More, you know, more than what I've already lost in eight months, and it's been over eight months now. And I still got, I reckon, like another eight pounds to go, which could be technically, you know, eight more weeks whatever you know what i'm saying so it's like it's actually slower than that too because i've i'm not knowing all the math directly in my head i've already broken it down but i've cut way faster in the past still had great results and everything but i just want to experiment this time with slower um you know just just experiment that's one huge thing and that's what I tell a lot of my clients i'm always that's that's one thing you get from like training for me like you get somebody who's read, spent countless of hours reading stuff, watching stuff, but also experimenting with stuff. You know what I'm saying? Doing only high reps, doing the low reps, doing both, uh, training push-pull legs, you know, once a week, doing push-pull legs twice a week, doing full bodies every two days, every three days, every four days, every five days, doing upper lowers, you know what I'm saying? Doing... I mean, you name it, doing this exercise versus these exercises, machines, you know what I'm saying, doing free weights, doing literally everything, and then diet-wise as well, one meal a day, you know, higher carb, the lower carb, higher fat, lower fat, literally, I mean, yeah, I hadn't done keto, and that's probably something I'm not, because I don't believe that's something that's really sustainable, again, like I talked about earlier, whatever, it needs to be something you can do for the long run, so... That's just not something I see myself actually being able to sustain for the long term, which doesn't mean I won't try it in at some point in time, just to experiment because uh, I just love experimenting with stuff and just seeing how it affects my body. And then, you know, I can share that with y'all just on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, but then also all the knowledge I get from not only reading and you know researching and stuff, you know, I get. You know, I, I get the experience from actually training people as well, so I know how people's bodies respond, different people, I know what they're doing in different situations. And then, also just from experimenting on myself, you know what I mean, like with specific diets. Like I don't experiment on like clients, like, like I wouldn't just say, hey, we're just randomly gonna try this protocol, I've never tried it before, no, I wouldn't do that. I know what's worse, I know what doesn't work. I know what works best for this kind of person, this kind of person. And if we try this, this doesn't work. Well, I know how to manipulate this and change this, and we're going to try it this way. This, if that's probably not working, this is going to work. So, just love experimenting, and that's what I'm doing now. Experimenting with basically a lot slower cut. And, uh, you know, I'll know 100% once I get to the end of my cut, because then I can, uh, I can look back at my last cut and see, you know, last time I was at that weight, and see was it worth it but when i get to the very end of my cut which i'm gonna get shredded as i've ever been was it worth it do i like the way my physique looks do i think it was because of this diet or what, what reasons do i think it was because of and uh and then one thing i'm probably gonna experiment with next time i think 100 percent without a doubt slow bulking is the best and basically almost the slower the better so 100 percent got that locked in i found that to be 100 percent universal the best the slower the better type bulking but next time i'm probably going to experiment with like a super fast cut because i've done I'm, I'm doing this really slow cut 
I've done like the decently fast cut, but like nothing crazy fast. And now I want to you know, do like a really aggressive cut one time and just see how my body holds on the muscle, you know, how, how my strength is, how, how just I feel throughout and just what that experiment's like. And uh, you know, if that's really, uh, if that's something worth doing. Cause I've uh, always been basically of the mindset that's seen the best, like thinks the best, like, Let's go a little slower and uh, like I said this has been the slowest ever I've done but generally I'm thinking slower is the better not too slow but a nice good rate like I said around a pound half pound to a pound and a half and then it's very maintainable again what you can do with the long run is going to set you up for success in the long run and uh, maintainable and you get to eat eat the most so the dieting parts either you just got to stick with it longer but it's easier to stick to so again and then the opposite in that spectrum is you make it harder so it's harder to stick to but you don't have to stick to it for as long again I'll be experimenting with everything in between just to uh, just to experiment just to learn I mean it's really fun to try new things and see uh, well for me it is love experiment with health and fitness type stuff and you know seeing what's the best see how my body responds and then being able to you know it just makes me better as a person one and then as a trainer as well and then I can help other people better but anyway that's it for this video going back home and uh, probably gonna not probably I'm going to uh, re-meditate and paint probably about time to eat after that and then you know let my food digest I'm not sure what I'm going to do then yet. I got to look. I already made out my whole to-do list for the day. I highly recommend that. That way there's no guessing that. Bring it with me. But as soon as I get at home, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and take this trash off as well. Uh, but I'll uh, see y'all when I get back home.